All right, we've reached our nightmare scenario for chain rule. So let's remind ourselves what chain rule is. You're going to have some type of stuff on the outside and some type of stuff on the inside. The chain rule says take the derivative of the outside stuff. Keep the inside stuff the way it is, but then multiply everything by the derivative of the inside stuff like so. I'm going to rewrite this out. Okay, so f of x is going to equal in parentheses to the one half instead of one big square root of x plus one over two x minus one. Okay, now the derivative of the outside stuff is going to be power rule. Bring that one half down, okay? Subtract one from the one half. Keep the inside stuff the way it is. And then multiply everything by the derivative of the inside stuff, which requires our good old friend, the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says that if you take the derivative of u over v, you get u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared. u would be my u u would be my v. So u is x plus 1. v is 2x minus 1. The derivative of the numerator is just 1. The derivative of the denominator is just 2. And v squared is going to be the denominator squared, which I'm not going to foil out because I don't want to. And maybe something will uh, simplify. I don't know. You never know. But we're going to multiply everything by this stuff and its combination. u prime v is going to be 1 times v, which is 2x minus 1, minus v prime, which is 2, u, which is x plus 1. And again, that's going to be all over 2x minus 1 squared. Okay, so what can I do here in red to kind of clean it up? What can I do? I can, uh, well, negative exponent means you could take a fraction and completely flip it. So why don't we do that? One half. Take a fraction and completely flip it. So 2x minus 1x plus 1, right, to the positive 1 half. And now I could just make that a big square root again and everybody's happy. So I get 1 half big square root of 2x minus 1 over x plus 1. I will leave that as that. What can I do with the purple? Well, I can distribute the 1, which changes nothing. So 2x minus 1. I can distribute the negative 2, so minus 2x minus 2. So that cancels out nicely. Uh, all over 2x minus 1 squared. And so that will leave me with negative 1 minus 2, so negative 3 over 2x minus 1 squared. So, look, I mean, you know, I, I don't know what else that we can do to clean this up. It's just a big mess. Uh, I mean, maybe... Yeah, I, there's nothing I can do. I, I know the devil's going to tempt you to want to do something here, but no, you're in a square root. Not You don't want to change anything. You don't want to rip anything out. Uh, there's nothing you could do with a one half and that three there. I mean, you're pretty much set. So really the only thing you could do is maybe combine these fractions and bring the negative out front. But I don't have space. I'm leaving it like that. But yeah, that's a mess. It's a mess of a problem. Quotient rule and chain rule is not going to be super, super fun if you have to do both, but we did. And we handled it just well with, with, with uh, glee and joy. All right, like and subscribe.